Welcome to the journey. Today we're gonna to talk about how to time block your calendar so you can get more stuff done. Remember when multitasking was all the rage? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, you know, you thought, hey, I'll multitask, do a little bit of this, get so do a little bit of that, I'm gonna get so much done. <laughs> and it's not the case. Not at all. And actually multitasking has the opposite effect. You take away the momentum of actually getting things done when you switch tasks, and it's not gonna be as efficient as just sticking to one thing. So one way I combat this is through blocking off time in my calendar. Mm. This is really gonna re reveal the nerd in me, but I also color code it. So Fancy. do you wanna know about it? Sure. Okay, <laughs> so I think about my day from like 8.30 a.m. to 5.30, and I think about what's urgent. If it's urgent, I color code it red. Mm. If it's a meeting, I color code it green. Mm. And if it's like, this should happen today, but like, if it doesn't get accomplished today, NBD, blue. And then from there, I do little time blocks at certain times of day because in the morning, my brain works differently than the afternoon. Mm. So maybe writing a webinar script, block off two hours for the afternoon, whereas in the morning, I would do something else like create social media slides, like a little bit more vibrant, cup of coffee, creativity. Interesting, and I like how you mentioned certain times of day because I know yeah. some people work better at night, others work better in the morning. Myself, I am a morning person. Give me the hardest things I need to do, get that done first early in the morning because after lunch, like now, <laughs> I'm not feeling too enthused to keep up but I do the same thing. I do block off some things on my calendar. I am all about technology, so I use Google, Google Calendar on mm -hmm. my phone. Mm -hmm. You may, some people may find it easier to just use a actual tangible calendar where you know you just write it down and you have to remember to look at it. If that works for you, sure. Another great thing about time blocking your calendar is it helps you from overbooking yourself. Mm. You can really stay structured with your time. Uh, I even include, and a lot of people don't do this, I feel like, but in my work calendar, where I just told you about the color coding and the time of the day, I also have for the color orange, my social life. Mm -hmm. Because it's, you gotta stay balanced, whether that is the work that you're doing or the social life that you're leading or your, or your exercise schedule. So I literally mm -hmm. block off time for all of those categories. And I do the same thing. Like when you say exercise in the morning, I'll have a little block where it says, hey, you gotta get up 6.30 or so, get your exercise Ooh. in. I'm I've getting back to it. I've been working out with it. my eyes closed. I'm getting back to it. If my wife is watching, I am getting back to it. but. He's Things that you it. actually schedule so that you know, hey, I'm gonna take this time for me, self-care. My wife is big on telling me about that. It's important, just like mm -hmm. Emma said, good balance. You can't just be about work, 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 work. Then you have not so much left in the tank to keep giving out. Mm -hmm. And it's a commitment too, I feel mm -hmm. like. If I say I'm committed to getting this work task done today at this time, Stick it helps, it. it's that extra step of commitment. Same right. with, I am gonna go to yoga at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Another cool thing about time blocking is it makes tasks harder to ignore. Say you write things down and you have all your tasks in a list, it's easy to jump around in that list and say, oh, I'll do this one, then I'll jump to this. But if you have that specific time blocked off for that one task, you know you're gonna be dedicated and focused to it and you'll be so much more efficient getting yeah. things done. Treat the task like you would a meeting, right? Mm. This is a time, don't be late, right. and wrap by the end of the hour. And it's funny because you wouldn't be in one meeting and say, hey, by the way, halfway through, I'm gonna take this other meeting. Y'all just hold on, I'll be right back. You yeah. wouldn't do that. All right, so we're gonna tell you how to get started. First, evaluate your task list. Mm. I think this is really important because it can help prioritize what you do. Also think about how much time does this task take versus this task as well. And then also what's more important, like mm. in a week, I know I'm like, I have got to get these tasks done by Tuesday or by Wednesday. And that really helps me to prioritize. And then also, like we talked about a little bit ago, what do I, how do I perform in the morning mm. with certain tasks? versus the afternoon, versus the evening. And also, sometimes it's better to get those harder tasks, the ones that you may not enjoy. Out of the way. Out of the way first. And like Emma was saying, if you work better in the morning like myself, get that hard task right there, AM, knock it out, so that at the end of the day, you can take that momentum of actually accomplishing mm -hmm. that and going to your other tasks. I had this friend who brought up recently, she's like, do you ever just put tasks in your calendar that you know you can get done that day just so you can delete it and feel really good? I was like, 
do I, do? maybe I do do that. And then I notice that I do. I add things in there that are just like, get me started in the morning where I'm like, oh, that's done. I'm on a roll. So now think about the time of day when you're actually blocking off the time for the task, because that's really important with, you know, what makes sense? Does it make sense to maybe start your day with Pilates and then go into your work day? Mm -hmm. Depends, where do you need to be? Do you need to be across town uh, for a meeting? Logistics matter. Or are you gonna have a Zoom call? That's a big one for me. Like if mm -hmm. I have to be on video, I'm not gonna go do work at the coffee shop today. That's just annoying. No one likes that person that's doing a video call at the coffee shop. You're just shaking their Random head like, people really walking here? behind. Yeah. So think about what that is you need to be done, where you need to mm -hmm. be for it, and then what comes before and after. So all of this is good. At the same time, you want to be able to be flexible. So it's good to have some checkpoints, some review time to see how things went during your, mm -hmm. during your day or during the week and see how you may adjust it as you go along. Because you don't want to be so rigid and set in stone to where you can't be flexible. And the last point, share with your team. Mm -hmm. uh, we do this a lot, I know, on the marketing team over at GoDaddy, just to know whether you're going to be out of the office, PTO, mm -hmm. on a flight. You know, I get where <laughs> meetings are planned, and if I didn't block off that time, like, hey, I'll be flying at this time, they're like, well, but you you were available in your calendar. And then there's <laughs> that miscommunication. Mm -hmm. And you also think about it. You don't want to be contacting your team or they're contacting you and they just get sent to voicemail. It's like you just feel like you're barging in on them. So have that communication with your team and the transparency, whether it's, hey, I'm you know leaving work early today, mm -hmm. so I'll be available from 4.45 to 5.45 because I'm going to spin class, but I'll be back online at 6. And it's also good to have that kind of communication with your customers. It's okay to say no. In my role in customer success, dealing with client-facing interactions, I have to tell customers at times, I don't have time right now, but I do respect your time and what you have to get done mm -hmm. is important to me. Mm -hmm. So let's do this. I have this day and this time or this time available. Which one is good for you? Mm -hmm. That just shows that you do respect their time and you do want to make that effort to take care of whatever their concern and is. And that you respect your own time. Exactly. I mean, that was a big thing. I know when I was um, on sales for GoDaddy's, yeah. they were like, you know, don't just say you're available anytime. No. That comes off to a prospective customer like, well, what do you do? You don't you have do? anything else to do? You don't have nothing else to do? <laughs> yeah. But if you show, hey, I got, you know, one o'clock or three yeah. o'clock today, what works best for you? You just learned how to time block your calendar so you can get more stuff done. Comment below, like this video. And make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you're first be notified when we have new content coming out. This is The Journey. See you next time.